Welcome everyone to our next video. Today we're going to talk about dynamic seeding, particularly looking at how dynamic seeding is used to absorb and to diffuse force for clients who have significant forces, usually due to increased muscle tone. My name is Michelle Lang. I'm an occupational therapist in the Denver, Colorado area. Let's go ahead and take a look. So this is part of a series of brief videos discussing clinical indicators for dynamic seating. And one of our primary clinical indicators is to diffuse this force. This protects the client from injury and protects the equipment from damage. And we'll be discussing each of those topics in subsequent videos in more detail. But let's talk for a minute about how dynamic seating actually absorbs and diffuses forces. So many of our clients have increased muscle tone, like my friend Spencer here, and that can lead to active extension at the hips, the knees, the neck, and extension within a static seating system creates forces wherever there is contact with the body during extension. Particularly, we see this at the foot rest, at the seat and back, more so the back. Some of our clients might actually lift off of the seat, as we can see Spencer doing here, and on the head support pad behind the head. As these forces in a static seeing system or unrelieved, extension often increases in response to that unyielding surface. That can lead to discomfort and pain. So dynamic seating actually absorbs these forces and that energy is stored within the dynamic component itself in the form of an elastomer or spring or hydraulic. That stored energy helps the client to return to an upright position. By absorbing and diffusing these forces, this can actually lead in a, to a reduction in extensor tone. And I've seen this over and over with my clients. Many of the clinicians that work in dynamic seating have seen these results as well in people of increased muscle tone. So if we look at this illustration here, we'll see that on the top, we have a client in a seated position within their wheelchair. Now, if that client extends at the hips, at the knees, we see this activating the dynamic components and the client maintains contact with the seating surfaces. Down below, we see a person again seated within their seating system, but this time there is not a dynamic component. It's a static, non-yielding surfaces seating system. And you can see that as the client extends, they now have increased shear forces because they're moving in relation to the seated surfaces. So instead of the back moving with the client, the client is moving up and against the back, again, creating these sheer forces. So we have an increase in tone, a loss of position, and increased shear, as opposed to using dynamic seating, where we have reduced extension, reduced shear, and maintained better contact with the seated surfaces. This allows us to stop the fight. I don't know about you, but some of my clients look like their sole purpose throughout their day is to escape their seating system. They're fighting against a static seating system all day long. Dynamic seating diffuses those forces. It takes the wind out of their sails and that helps promote ah, relaxation. And as a result, this client may experience less pain and more function. Thanks for joining us for this brief video. If you have questions or comments, feel free to contact Seating Dynamics or myself directly. We hope you can join us for some of our future webinars or short videos as well. Thanks very much.